today I'm going to be testing uh, pre-setting the throwing arm elbow in more extension so it's almost already fully extended and so then I'll be coiling and just have a little bit of elbow extension left over compared to what I normally do which is keep the elbow at around 90 degrees here and then after I coil I try to extend it and time it with my brace. Something else I'm gonna do which is what I normally do which is kind of presetting scapular protraction. So scapular protraction is when it feels like you're pushing the shoulder forward or your your upper back is hunching forward. It's the opposite of pulling your shoulder blades together. It's pushing your shoulder blades forward. So here I'm kind of just in a neutral scapula position. And if I push it forward, you see how much more space I have for the disc. And it also kind of gets your upper back muscles a little bit preemptively engaged. So I'm sure uh, there are more pros who do this, but what I, where I saw it most recently was in a recent GK Pro tournament where Jeremy Colling, it kind of looked to me like his arm was, his elbow was extended quite a bit. Uh, and so his reach back was like, when he coiled, he was almost already done reaching back. And so that, that you know, gave me the idea to give it a try since I've been trying all these different things. And then on the topic of uh, similar to pre-setting the off arm close, um, this is, you know, a kind of another type of pre-setting something already close to where you want it to end up. And so it may help with simplifying the timing instead of having to time, you know, this much elbow extension so that it finishes extending right when you brace. You're just kind of bracing and then you've got the, a little bit of slack to, to give you some bounce or some, you know, rubber band type of effect. Also similar to the pre-coiling where you're trying to coil preemptively a decent amount, but you have some uh, left over still for the final moments to be dynamic. All right, unfortunately my microphone died. I thought I charged it, um, but it must have not been connected all the way or something. But uh, anyway, so uh, I've been practicing since the last video, keeping the off arm close. I did a whole round um, with it and it felt good. But for this test, I'm just gonna let my off arm be natural so that I can compare these stats um, to my normal form. Oh, also um, on that topic of kind of how I conceptualize the reach back, the starting position, whether I'm, I'm doing starting like I normally do, like this with the elbow bent 90 degrees or the elbow more extended, the shoulder angle is already preset normally to 90 degrees and with the scapular protraction already set after you coil that's why it's just the elbow extension and nothing else is left over because i don't need to try to get the right shoulder angle that's already there i don't need to do the scapular protraction that's already there so it makes it a lot simpler to get to that final like reach back position all right i just warmed up first throw Oh yeah, don't hold the off arm. My off arm might be doing kind of a hybrid between my normal thing and holding it close since I've been practicing holding it close, so. All right, I'm still warming up, so low 60s. Um, but I was watching it and it kind of looked like my elbow was more bent than I started with. I'm wondering if as I'm coiling, I'm, I'm bending it which I kind of do in my normal form because I, I pump forward and then I want to keep it bent while I'm coiling. So I might be reverting to some of that bend. So I'm gonna take a look at the back view and see if, if it stays extend, mostly extended. Yep, 
Yeah, it looked like I was keeping it decently extended, so I think I'm, I think I'm actually doing it. 63, time to try a little bit harder. All right, I just hit 66 and a negative nine nose angle. I noticed my nose was, you know, it was getting better, but it was still nose up. So that throw, I just focused on keeping the disc in the briefcase carry as I came into the power pocket, forcing me to kind of supinate a little bit later towards the end. Whereas if I don't focus on that, I think I supinate too early and then I come out of the power pocket without having that last moment of supination that gets it more down. But this video is not about nose, nose angle control. It's just interesting to see every time um, that I feel like turn the key um, is not working. It's just me, but like not doing it enough. All right, so here are the stats from that session. Also, I noticed Jeremy initially keeps his arm quite a bit lower than mine, but I didn't want to change too many things at once. And then here are the stats compared to the other tests I've been doing in this kind of series of tests. So far, nothing has been huge on the overall stats. Um, the biggest thing so far was a couple individual throws in the off-arm preset close test where I reached my max speed that I've ever reached before or close to it while doing a walk-up instead of a run-up. So far it seems like there's lots of things I can change without having a big impact and so there's lots of room for preference. As long as the change doesn't make you start rounding or you know swooping or doing some other major no-no. However in some of these throws it did look like I lost some of the preset elbow extension by bending my elbow uh, based on muscle memory. Um, but whenever I saw that, I switched to the back view and it didn't seem like I was bending the elbow as much from that view and after trying to make the correction. I'm pretty attracted to the idea of testing various ways of presetting things because it seems like you can reap the benefits of some simplification by doing that. For example, in this test, uh, presetting both the throwing arm elbow extension and the scapular protraction makes me wonder if this could benefit newer players by simplifying the timing, but also getting most of the feeling of reaching out of the way so that when you coil, you're less tempted to lean backwards while having the feeling of reaching because most of the reaching is already done, so to speak. And with most of it already done, there may be a lower risk of accidentally collapsing. Overall, the I liked angle. this and uh, it makes you want to experiment you more with it. Begun the pull through.